Hello you guys, it's Magical Flower Nerd here, or the Charlotte Bauer. Uh, I would like to do a video based on my sketchbook that I've done recently. Currently all my sketchbooks are still in uh, the studio in Preston, so please bear with me with that. I am thinking of doing an episode going over my old sketchbooks. I think it would be a really good idea to touch on some topics through that. Um, and my next episode, oh, excuse me, my next episode is going to be based on gallery visits and Berlin. I can tell you will not be disappointed on that one. Berlin was such a good trip and that is all I'm going to leave you with till next time. But for now, we're going to go over my sketchbook. Um, a kind reminder to keep the language clean, to stay positive and to stay safe. So, let's begin. Bear with me. So, I'm going to literally show you the ins and outs of this sketchbook, regardless of how awful it is or how proud I am of it. So this is my little seaside little drawing. I tried to do it with a mineral colour palette. Um, I was working on my lines and I was also doing it based on uh, scanning it into Adobe to see how clean it would look on there. Um, it did look clean but unfortunately the end result is still in the studio. I am not allowed to enter the studio due to Covid but I think in September I might be called back to get stuff, so please watch this space. Um, just to let you know, as I'm turning the page, I am thinking of starting a website, and I am still keeping studio space. So, uh, again, watch this space. Everything's really new and getting started. So this page is really important to me. Now, it looks really basic, but basic can yet be very effective. Now, I don't know if you guys can see here, but this here is something called a fractal. It's a repeat pattern that spirals out. I literally did this by drawing lines and rough outlines of coral and I put a really faint colour in and literally spiralled it out and yet we had like this like fractal um, psychedelic ocean and this was based on a live brief. Now my live brief was to build um, like a wall paint for a primary school library. So it was kitty based, it was colour based, it was library words, typography, colography, you name it. So I had to find a really cool line. So I found this. So the journey of a lifetime starts by turning a page. Now I have to agree with that. I've read lots of books and I think my favourite is Breakfast at Tiffany's. You must comment me your favourite book because I need some new reading stuff. And this little guy, this was made from magazine pieces with a little bit of typography with his fin. He can only swim with his fins, so that means he can only move forward with words. That's my deep message. Every piece has words, and all the pieces come together make a complete journey. So, this is actually based on my goldfish. So, here we have etching. This is only a copy. Again, the etching plate were, um, it's still in the studio, I can't get to that just yet, but again, I will have a better episode once my studio is built. Um, I am currently still looking at Amazon. I'll stop talking about the studio now. This is my, um, a relative, uh, this is his dog, um, and I decided to etch him using words and stuff. This isn't related to the other brief, but this was to explore etching techniques, etching lines, using wet and dry paper. This was using a press and it, oh my gosh, it was so fun. Until the plate broke under the pressure. But I, re I created some good results with this. And I will share them with you once I can get into the studio. So then when the world broke out with the pandemic, I decided to start taking matters into my own hands. My final piece was cut short. And I decided that I was going to challenge myself. Now, I decided that I was going to do faces, body, and things that I can't do very well. I was going to challenge myself. I did the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, not only did I start to decide to paint, I also decided to buy a camera as well. I have now a Nikon. It's a very good one. Um, I'm still uh, trying to figure out really good lenses, exposure, ISOs. Uh, shutter speed, you know, how to make the perfect image. So I'm teaching myself on that, also watching other YouTube videos, which I recommend to teach yourself if you've got some spare time. I'm currently recording off my um, ca uh, my webcam, um, because I'm still trying to fathom how to video off my uh, Nikon. 
If anybody has any good suggestions, please leave a comment below. That would be very, very grateful. So I started to, to work on my lines. I drew two little bookies. And yes, I drew a book. But. Um, let's see. Here we go. So I decided to do a stencil. And I did a stencil of Audrey Hepburn. I wanted to work on a warm gradient and a cold top. I wanted to see a contrast of warm and cold colours and really faint lines to give the most effective detail. It's surprising where a little bit of paint can make so much different. So I really like how the gradient is, it's almost like the sun setting, it's like a romantic warm feeling. Roger Hepburn's obviously like the queen of romance and beauty, so what, what could go better? And also yeah, her blue hair, it's so outstanding. It, it, it almost completes the picture without any detail. So, in Paris When It Sizzles, also one of the Audrey Hepburn film, um, I decided to add some Sharpie on it. Now, I don't recommend black for a lot of things because it's so bold and it's too sharp. If you're going to do a dark colour, mix in all your primaries to get a brown, and that includes blue, red, and yellow. They're your primary colours. And it soon you can control that and soon you can get blue and yellow and red with a brown and it almost looks black but it's not sharp it's not as uh, like eye blinding however this one has an exception i used a stencil to do the eiffel tower and i drew it over her and at first i was really nervous because i thought oh my gosh i'm going to ruin my copy or i'm going to ruin my original and I decided just to risk it. To, to, it's a sample at the end of the day, so it's not the end of the world if it's ruined. And it went so well. And um, at first the shock started to bleed because the paint was still a little bit wet. But it still went really, really well, which I'm really proud of. So, that shows. Don't just stop if you, you know, take risks. Now, this is where the real work begins. This is Halsey. Um, she was doing a magnum advert and I just absolutely loved the image. So I started to decide that I'm going to work on textures. So um, first off I challenged myself by drawing a face by using watercolour for that and then putting it on a texture. And I managed to complete all three. Now I absolutely love textures. I feel like it adds mood and more creative points to the image. So I have like really matted out um, tissue and you can feel the softness and you can feel the tape and honestly I I really like this because there's even paint marks which is left in the painting and it just adds the mood and it adds like this funkiness this like I'm cool and sassy and it just looks great and this is another Halsey now this is where I panicked a little because I managed to achieve a face really well but her facial features were really diluted by the paint so I thought I'm going to risk it and I'm going to do Sharpie. And luckily for me, it went really well. Because she had eyeliner on. So it kind of just looks like a really expressive eyeliner. So, good for Halsey. Now, this is the disaster page. So please cover your eyes. <laughs> this is um, where I decided to draw myself in a mirror and paint over. Now, this went really well. And this is where Sharpie is not a good idea. Because my face is so pale. And because everything else is so warm, the black just contrasts too much. And maybe I would have been better off using a brown and using faint detail. The black is just too outstanding and does not work for this. This also goes for this as well. The paint was wet. Everything went wrong with this. I had to stop because there was no coming back. Saying that though, I will try again. This is a timed exercise. This was to try and put as much detail in five minutes. I had two minutes to do the background and three minutes to do the person. I managed to quickly do the background, let it bleed in, and then do Maggie. Now, she was pretty faint, but I put some faint pen line markers on here so you can faintly see her eye features. Doing timed activities is a really good idea, especially if you're doing still drawing. Try and do bigger and large scale outlines because you can always go back and work into them she's my favorite i love how the ombre sets the move here so she just looks like chilled relaxed her her facial and her hand expressions just show that she's just she's just cool with life and 
Um, her pale skin and her lips really contrast, which shows she's quite a sassy girl as well. For those again who don't know, this is Halsey. I actually used a candle to help draw her. Her eye is made from blue wax and glitter. And everything else is just made from a small bit of ink. The pink and the blue contrast each other really, really well. It almost sets like a psychedelic, nice, wishy-washy technique. And it really pushes Halsey's face to the forward. So colours can really help position your, your model or whatever you're drawing. Especially when you contrast them. Here, um, I decided to uh, print over a printed image. So I photocopied Halsey and I drew in some some stars. I also photocopied on top. So it looks like, you know, she's in space. You know, it sets the mood that she's, you know, stargazer queen. Now, this is also my favourite. This is another Halsey. Um, I used Sharpie because her tattoos are really standing out. And they are also very ink based so I tried to do that as much as possible. Plus when the tattoos were already put on with the paint they just weren't showing and it just was not effective so Sharpie was needed in this. But I love her rainbow hair not only because I'm bisexual but because I just love rainbows. Rainbows are so cool and I am. I decided she didn't need a background for this because I, I felt like she had enough colour and maybe a monochrome that's something to test out in later time. This is a pen drawing of Marina, um, Marina de, uh, and the Diamonds. Um, I painted um, with watercolour, acrylic, and did pen for features. As you know, around here, there is a paint palette. A little tip for GCSE and BTEC students, a paint palette is a great way to maintain colours and remix colours. So always make a note of what you've done. You will never be marked down for putting a colour palette in. Now, this is one of my favourites. This is Maleficent. I used a blue and yellow background. I love the contrasting colours. It almost looks psychedelic, you know, organic. And it also gives her, like, it pushes Maleficent forward. And it gives, like, a powerful, like, I'm the boss kind of mood, which I really like. It also gives, like, a smooth, wavy texture, which is really, really good. For this. Now, here is um, a collage. It has Halsey in the middle, but also it's two girls and it represents diversity and gay rights. They feel like they're separate from society and like the blue bricks are finally coming apart. And it says kindness regards to show that they've been separated for so long, to be afraid who they are, they're coming out of like, the blue and that they are finally gonna meet each other and show that they finally deserve to be together. And it's got like male stamps and it represents like the distance that's finally fading away and the pictures finally coming together which is like the hearts coming together it show the power of love regardless of who you are so colleges are really really nice especially when there's typography involved because it helps express that image even more this is me in my dress um i love this one in particular because it's an acrylic and i also use blues for shadow um i did originally have a phone in my hand but it looked really gross so i painted that out and this is all acrylic, there's no pen involved, and it's just, um, this is working with brown. As you notice, like for shadow, I've not used a black here, I've used a brown, and it doesn't look like it's drowning. For those Disney lovers, this is Angela Lansbury, again, colour palette, and her. I love blank pages, I do apologise. And this is finally my hippie chick. I absolutely love her. I was just inspired by John Lennon and I just literally went for it. Good old Yoko got covered with Whoa Man and I just love every colour. I actually went and spent 14 hours on this and this is one in development. This is my German Shepherd. He needs a little bit of work still, but he's ongoing and I'll show you the end result in the next video. So that's my sketchbook explain to you for now if you have any comments leave them below put them down below so even lottie loves you baby please like and share this video i love you all and stay safe